the ATF in the last 24 hours has sent out an email to guns and ammo dealers throughout North Carolina warning them to be on the lookout for stolen ammo. What stolen ammo? Well, apparently three different shipping containers in three different locations in North Carolina were robbed of the ammo that was contained within in Raleigh, Durham, and Wilmington, North Carolina. Three different locations in the last week have been robbed of the ammo contained inside those shipping containers. Take a moment and ask you to check out the links below for the sponsors that support us, support them. Now in this email from the ATF, they had said that there's mostly 9mm Winchester 9mm stolen and a lot of it. Well, what does a lot of it mean? Well, we kind of figured out, I did a little calculating that if you had a 40 foot container, that's 2,400 cubic feet, you can fit about 2.8 million rounds of 9mm ammo in there. Times three, you're looking at 8.6 million rounds of ammo potentially. Chances are they weren't filled to the brim, but definitely we're talking about millions of rounds of ammo. Now the ATF also said that it would be dangerous to use this ammo if you happen to get a hold of any of it, um, but they said depending on how they stored it, it could cause your firearm to malfunction. Well, it's been a week. Chances are it's been stored just fine in the last few days. Um, I'm sure if it hadn't been, it's not really enduring any sort of hardship. I'm sure they didn't store it underwater, uh, but they're saying don't use it. Um, they've also warned uh, the different FFLs that there'd be consequences if they knowingly purchase this. So um, right now they're looking at it to be showing up in the gun stores around North Carolina and around the East Coast. I'm sure it'll make it a lot further than that, but chances are this ammo is going to start popping up in gun stores um, and that's what the ATF is suspect of well. But we're looking at potentially over 8 million rounds of 9mm ammo. Uh, probably less. Probably not a lot less though. Three different shipping containers. I'd also like to say when you're talking about three different shipping containers containing ammo in three different locations, clearly somebody knew something. Somebody was on the inside of something. Uh, you don't just randomly open up three shipping containers in the world and they happen to be filled with ammo each time. Uh, somebody knew something on the inside for sure. But there you go. Millions of rounds of what we know to be at least 9mm Winchester ammo uh, have been stolen from three different locations and three different shipping containers in North Carolina. And the ATF is warning you not to use it because it could be dangerous if it wasn't stored correctly. And they're warning FFLs to not sell it without consequences. So uh, there you go. That's what we know. Uh, I can say that I had to look at about seven different articles just to get that much information. Most people just say ATF sent out an email warning of stolen ammo from shipping containers. Uh, but it's a lot deeper than that. It's three shipping containers. And again, if they're 40 foot shipping containers, we're looking at about 8 million rounds. If they're 20 foot, cut that in half, about 4 million rounds. Um, or a combination of maybe some were 20, some were 40. Who knows? Uh, but what we do know, millions of rounds of mostly 9mm ammo is circulating uh, the North Carolina area. Any insight, definitely put that below. We've also made a few videos with Maggie recently talking about her experience with the ATF, and I'm going to put those links right here. Like this video, click like and subscribe. Feel called to support this channel with Patreon, that link is also below. But the most important part of this channel, we take prayer requests, so please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, love guns.